it was very important for me to stay in Houston and, and stick with, you know, the foundation of uh, my everything. You know what I mean? I'm from Fifth Ward, a place in Houston, Texas, and uh, I was kind of shaped and molded to, uh, you know, stick with where I'm from. Now, in my era of, of, of music, you know, the East Coast was real popular and the West Coast was real popular. So one of the most important uh, events that took place was after my partner moved Rapalot to New York for six months, for me to go down there for two weeks and make the decision, oh, y'all trying to imitate New Yorkers. Y'all trying to be this, y'all trying to follow. Let's go back home and be ourselves. I was inspired by the movement that was taking place at Def Jam. You know what I mean? I knew Lee R. Cohen. I met him when he came to Houston, so I had somewhat of a relationship with him. But, you know, what inspired me the most was when I saw the checks of uh, LL Cool J, Houdini. You know what I mean? I saw that money, I saw those checks, and I was like, this, this is inspirational enough for me to learn everything I needed to, to learn on my own. And that's the way it went. What I learned from Leo, what I observed from Leo was a was a, work, a relentless work ethic. You know what I mean? In the beginning, Leo was traveling around the world with Ron DMC and it, it didn't look like he ever went to sleep. So I understood, you know, from observing him, okay, this is a, this is a business. You have to do some serious grinding. So uh, from a distance, I was able to uh, observe his work ethic. Having a good team around you is very important. You know what I mean? It's, it ain't no I and we. You know, it's hard to get anything done uh, without the proper team in place. Also having the ability and the gift to place them properly. You know, I, uh, I tell everybody the story. I got some guys that are jumping in front of a bullet for me. But if I say, watch this $5,000 for two weeks till I get back, they may not have the strength to do that. So it's important to have the, uh, the intuition to not put a person in place, you know what I mean, as a running back position when they're a quarterback. Being uncomfortable or going all outside my comfort zone uh, was very uh, important. You know what I mean? And I think a lot of that begins with having a, a, a proper team around you, a, youth, a youthful team around you that's gonna be honest with you. For example, where Drake is concerned, you know, my son was a, was a kid when I was teaching him the importance of a buzz. Now, in the new era where MySpace came into place, you know, that buzz was the truth back then, it was the truth in the MySpace era. And that's one thing about the truth, it don't change. You know what I mean? The lie got to keep changing. So he embraced that same truth, you know, where that buzz was concerned and brought it back, you know what I mean, to the table. And I didn't hear it, you know what I mean? My son, Jazz Prince, I didn't hear what he heard where Drake was concerned. So I had to go outside of my comfort zone to embrace him because I had taught him and to believe that he knew what he was talking about, and he did.